You might actually get gone on, yeah. especially if Hesse just decides to scale the skewer. I think he should. Yeah, slow him down an extra bit, yeah. or maybe it's not even needed. They've got the Ion Shell in range now. They're going to try and turn around, slow down Hess to Joe, but Jarex is definitely yeah, dead here. For sure. And First Blood actually goes to the CM, so Jarex just... And he's actually just going to turn and fight. Like, they can't actually fight this. He's got oh. the disrupt, but look how much damage that does. A couple more right clicks, they would have been able to finish off Jarex. Montama, man, they're going for the kill. A little bit more damage. Yeah, Doppelganger away. He's good. Oh, Catch out the Crystal Man. They're going to burst her. Just go for the quick kill. Kuro he's go for the turnaround. may be in trouble here as he's going to be run down with the Ancho. Great body mana. blocking, but Jarex, he can only do so much of this one. He's actually committing for the kill here. Oh, double kill. Hesta Joe lands that shockwave beautifully. And now they're going to run down Kuro as well. The Rhinoceros. Two. This is going pretty. Pretty successfully this time around. Fana turned around on. Skewer's actually going to miss. He has no right click damage whatsoever on the uh, Magnus. So he's got to be careful here. They're going to turn on to him. Hester Joe's dead. That is. He saw mind control coming. They've still got the Fisher. Will be able to block out Ace a little bit. Then Enchant Totem buys him a bit more time, but it looks like they're just going to dive the tower. At Chris Domain still sitting. Oh, they're going to get the RP, bring him back almost to the tower range, but because he's not underneath the tower, this is going to turn bad. Disruption now gets laid out on the Crystal Maiden. and Fada's stolen 98 damage. He's just going to rip that poor Crystal Maiden. Kill, though. Mind Control is looping around the back. They're going to block out the Crystal Maiden. No escape there. Telekinesis pushed back. They've got a Lance as well. Crystal Maiden. Very dead. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, they're going to rotate around behind Rise. Jarex, they start the damage drain. Put him in that disruption, and they should have enough damage, especially with the Light Strike Ray being dodged. Bottom big two cores down here in this lane. Yeah, the man's out of mana, and he gets crit. Double oh, gang he's... to the side. Will clear he's through a lot of the trees. This? Ace thinking about it, but now he's going to be caught by Mind Control. Stunned up underneath that tower with the lands to finish him off. That just never seemed like a good idea. Mind Control pushing forward. Doesn't quite have his level 6. Where's his team? Enchant Totem, they need some help. Disruption gets laid down on the Darkseer. Try and slow down that Ion Shell. And Mind Control will be able to get away. The wall completely misses. Fisher gets laid out, but it's too late. The support's already down. And now Hester Joe goes for another one. With the Surge, we'll be able to catch up to Mind Control. And a nuke will finish him off. Perhaps the one unlucky of the dire side is going to be our dark series. Still got another surge. Fauna keeping up though with that haste rune will eventually catch him with the plasma field. Yeah, he's gonna catch him at the lip too. This should kill him. One yeah. hit. That's what's arcane boots, right? But if I'm behind, I need oh, to jungle. They're smoking in. They're gonna find Fada too. Fada slowed down with Frostbite. We'll do will dish out a lot of damage onto that Crystal Main. The nukes are coming in from long range. They do have a little good blade as well, but the skewer on top. Disruption actually saves them from that damage, but they still have the RP if necessary, but it's not quite yet. Jarex is also gonna be caught. He goes down. They definitely didn't anticipate Oh, this. Kuro going to be skewered back to start with Mind Control. He doesn't even have the ultimate, so they just get a free pick off on Rubik to start things out. Now Fada moves forward. But this phase of the game. You're behind too much gold. Ace going in on Mind Control. Does have the Echo Slam if he wants to stop this one, but he doesn't want to lose it just yet. He does have some support app, but Kuro's not going to be able to stop it. In fact, if with a 4 versus 5, you just... Yeah. Not an option. Because you have no oh, idea. He also doesn't have um, Boots of Travel up. Brings back the Crystal Main. Kuro got to be very, very careful here. He's got Ace coming in. The RP locks down two. And now Ace is going to go to town, slowing down Fauna. Ace going to be a half HP already. Maybe Fauna can actually fight this one. And Ace jumps himself away, not wanting to stick around close quarters with Fauna. Don't comes in from the side. Going to be able to throw off the wall, deal a little bit of extra damage to Fauna. And the rest of his team is going to start backing him up. If they commit to the Darkseer kill, they're going to be in range of the PA, and that's not where they want to be. Ace now given the extra surge. He's going to jump in. Mind control. Uh, not really. I mean, he, he had the Aegis, right? Yeah. There's okay. too much damage, but this might be... Yeah, he jumps in. Bit far. Kuro drops low. CM's actually able to finish him off. Nicely played. Off beat at all times. Rise. Doesn't oh, have the Light Strike kill. Array. Run. He was working towards the Aghanim Scepter, too. Matumbo Man going to be able to definitely dodge that one. Vacuum actually pushes him back. Oh, a little bit more damage illusion. to Illusion. It gets him in the end. Matumbo Man able to finish oh, up. Just pay for this, though. Yeah, top ganger to the side. PA has already made that jump. Needs one. Another four seconds. They do have the Ion Shell as well. He's going to go for Jarex instead. Seems to be an easier guaranteed kill. Especially with the CM dropping the ultimate there. They use get out for free. Yeah.
It's actually Jerex significant. pulled back. Crystal Maiden actually misses the nuke there as the disruption goes out. Jerex is still going to be bursted, though. Resp Where you're going to move, and then you group up for one second, and I'll get hit. Skewer back. Kuro going to be brought over the cliff there. And, oh, counter skewer Kuro! He almost looks like he's going to skewer forward, looking for something now. Turns around. Perhaps has to go for the RP. No one's going to force that out. BKB from Ace. They're actually going to be able to eliminate Fauna now. He's got a buyback in 60 seconds now. A two-man RP. Turn around, though. Kuro's actually stolen the RP and gets Hesta Joe inside of it. Ace still comes forward, though. Jerex has dropped low, but they're getting dangerously near those Tier 4 towers. Ace jumps back. They brought both the racks down to half HP. Push. Because they've got Glyph up. Yeah, you just continue to go for the push. Like, screw it. Um, oh, Two-man vacuum. Wall gets laid out. The BKB pops. Full committal here. And there goes... J oh, man. He just disappeared. Jerex is Can they get back in time to you defend? Cancel TPs. Kuro jumps forward. Blink. Oh, vacuum actually buys some time for the other TP to go out. And now the Crystal Maiden turns things around with the Crystal Maiden ultimate. The old Ace comes in. Able to take out one. It goes for Vana's... Oh, where's the crit? Crit, crit. Not quite getting... Now his damage is being stolen. Jumps in once again. But he's losing all of his damage. He didn't get a crit goal. Vana's going to be able to escape because of that. Don't now getting away. Never mind. Disruption buys some time. They're going to surround him and take him out. But they did not get nearly as much as they needed. They oh, they can jump on the PA here. Telkinese is already locking him in, and they're going to be able to chain stun him really well. Ace unlikely to survive through this BKB. Teleport out. Is he going to make it? Oh, not. Or looks like. Oh, no, they are going to fight this one. Us. Jump in. Echo slam. Oh, has to Joe. He actually got stunned in right as he came in. RP gets laid out. Kuro actually stole it. What's he going to be able to do? Lock down Ace. That's what he wanted. Still, the Crystal Main ultimate goes out. Matumba Man doesn't really care too much. Managed to dodge. Matt will strike away. Oh, but, oh here comes PA. Jumps in with the critical. But they don't know which one. A lot of damage with the ultimate. Uh, I mean, he already has so much armor. Jerex, he'll bissle him. Mind control, can they get him too? RP being faked out. Doesn't look like they may need it. Mind control is just trying to buy time in order to blink away, but that's not going to happen. Yules and Light Strike Array. They found like that, and you're lifted at the same Whoa, time. Oh, disruption right as he jumps onto Jerex. Couldn't quite get it. Now the RP catches out too. Ace comes forward. Managed to get the immediate bash onto Jerex, but Kuro's actually going to be able to get some distance. As to Joe being bursted down. Oh Echo control. Slam on top of the that. Ace is having all of his damage stolen away too. He turns on Fauna, gets the bash, but he has no more damage left. Even with the criticals, it means nothing. Oh, they're abandoning Ace too. They need to actually help him out. But they don't actually have Rise too comes much forward. To he anymore. jumps in. Disruption actually will save. Fada looks like. Oh, he barely survives. Great. Assassin illusion. Or Phantom Lancer illusions are just targeting everybody else. Oh, he actually jumps in. Goes straight for Jerex. Will be able to get that kill now. Pops a BKB, but will die in the process. This is. Maybe should have waited. And, and those are. Uh, being forced back. Yeah, now he's going to be stuck. controlled he without a BKB. BKB. He's going to be in some serious trouble. That's why they jump forward now. Has to Joe looking for that RP desperately, oh, but it's having all of his mana burned him. away from him. He now skewers on a Fada, but still not popping that RP. He's in danger of dying without using it at all. The Lance goes out. A couple more right clicks. Looks like Matumba Man wants the kill, and they'll get it too. He jumps forward now. Seeing the bait now. Will be able to jump on a rise quite easily. Looks like Ace is just trying to escape at this point in time. Lincoln's bought him some time. He turns. Immediately bashes up Fada. Double bash. Can he get this kill? Another critical. He gets it. Unbelievable. Ace now locked down by the ultimate. Can Ace turn this around at all? He doesn't have a life steal. They eat the cheese. Ace manages to heal up. He gets the Rubik as well underneath the wall. Matumba Man has to jump himself away. But Ace, hot pursuit, get gets the, the bash. Oh, he, he gets, gets the, the bash. bash. Matumba Man locked down. Critical. He falls. Immediately buys back. Ace, they have Hester Joe now, and they have double RP. This is going to be two buybacks used. Oh, jumps on the bottom. They immediately RP. They, they don't care. They're going to try and drop him down as much as possible. He does have a refresher. He's going to pop in here, try and use another RP. Skewer, he's burned out of mana. He won't be able to get the RP off. Jump in. Fauna gets bashed up again. Ace gets the kill. One versus two, though. Goes for my control, and he just gets obliterated. Jump away. Junks, he's desperately trying to get onto Ace. Lotus Orb, turn around. Doppelganger, he's trying to run him down. Ace, oh, can he actually get out of this oh, one? The heal. That Lance, it's still not enough. Ace is going to be able to get out of this one now. Matumba Man just turns to go for the Crystal Main. He's actually taping back the throne. It's in trouble. It's only Ace just charging forward right into a smoke. Immediately Echo slammed up. And Ace may just be popped here. He's going to go down before any of his teammates can respond. And now the BKB activated by Matumba Man. Now that Ace is down, he wants to be able to go for more. 
B even force out he the buyback. He turns onto the Crystal Main. RP gets laid down, turned around by Kuro, and he's going to be locked down too. Now the buyback comes in, but can he actually get here oh, in time? Three RP. men RP, but they don't have the PA just yet. They've already finished up two. Here comes Ace now, looking for Fada, and you get these bashes. Of course, he can get the Abyssal Blade. He still had that active. Disarmed, Fada jumping away, TP out, but a bash comes in once again. Fada, gotta be so frustrated. He's down for... And sure enough, they start back passing it. Don't in the front. Oh, immediately, but Tubba Bed bashed up. Another critical bash, and Laguna Blade to delete him. Five boys.